Thanks, Jagan. 622 this morning, we've got Morgan Watercutty. She's with the American Red Cross joining us this morning to talk about the 12 Hours of Giving. It's your annual event. It's coming up. I feel like it just happened, but it's coming up again. Well, we do do it every six months. We always do it going into the holiday season and then going into summer. Uh, the need for blood definitely rises during the summer with summer travel and those kind of things. And also we lose all the 20% of donors who are high school and college students. So why is it so important for people to come in and to give blood, especially during the summer months? I feel like people forget that the need is always there. Of course, you know, we get busy. We have Little League, we have summer vacations and all of those things. And while we have all of these events, there's also more risk of injury. There, the possibility of someone needing blood rises in the summer. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we're all getting a little busy to and forget to come out and give. So it's really important to mark your calendars, come out and get the shelves stocked going into the busy Memorial Day So with 12 Day hours of giving, it is kind of what it, what it, what you think mm -hmm. it is, it's 12 straight hours. But for somebody who has not given blood before, I've given blood, I'm assuming you have, who uh, people, they might be a little bit scared, not something to be afraid of. You, I, I was afraid when I went in, but afterwards I'll tell you what, it was not really that big of a deal. No, absolutely not. D to be honest, the needle's really in your arm for about five minutes. It's really, um, it's five minutes of maybe being a little uncomfortable, but each blood donation has the potential to save up to three lives. So when you think about the big picture, it's an hour of your day, five minutes of being a little bit uncomfortable, but the impact is just And the good thing is you get snacks afterwards too. Yes, Zoop will be on hand as, oh, Zoop? as they oh, have here. Been. I'm going to scoop closer <laughs> to you. Tell me more. Tell me more. Um, Zoop always comes out um, and serves lunch and dinner for us, um, really? which is great. And this year, Texas Red House has come on board and they're sending an armadillo to serve sweet tea. So I don't know how you can beat that. Oh, well, guys, I know where we're going to be. What is this next Friday, you mm -hmm. said? Yeah, that's where we're going to be. Um, about how many people do you expect to come out to this? Uh, with the rising uh, need for blood, in the increase this time of year, we are actually needing to collect about 215 units this okay. year, which is higher than usual. So we really need people to come get signed up. And is up. there any particular blood type that you might be looking for or just all blood types? All blood types this time of year. All blood types. Okay. And so how do I get involved in this? Do I need to call you and say, hey, I'm coming? Do I need to register or do I just show up? If you're an individual, you can you can show up, but okay. we really encourage you to make an appointment at 1-800-RED-CROSS or by visiting redcrossblood.org. If you're an organization or a business who would like to send multiple people, you can call out to the office and I can orchestrate straight and coordinate that for you. All right. Well, thank you so much, Morgan, from Thanks coming for in this me. morning. And we appreciate you waking up early to come <laughs> down here and see us again. That is next Friday from 7 to 7 here in Quincy. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back after this. It is 625 up in Adam. They tell me it's a Thursday.